All right, so we're going to set an instance parameter using Dynamo. Um, we set a pipe parameter last time, and we are going to use this two-point louver instance. So if I drag this out and place this adaptive component in my file, and then select it and go to Edit Family, right? Zoom in on it. It's the same as the type one we used before, but the difference is, is we go here and look at our Family Talks dialog box. You have it set. We have it set to instance for the angles. So if I go to edit the P1, you'll see that it's set to instance and not type. You can do that here in the Family Talks dialog box if you want to update it, or if you're setting a parameter, you can set that parameter and pick instance. So the instance again will help us, will let us set a different value for each insertion of that type, whereas the type uh, parameter uniformly changes every insertion of that type at once. So if I close this, right, and I repeat it, so I'm just going to pick that and go to modify and repeat. And then I'm going to come over to our definition over here. And it's the same as the definition previous, but we all we have a little node in here called L, L, all elements of family type. So it selects all of the elements in of that family type that are inserted, right? So you can see that right now we're set to two point louver. And then what that's going to do is it's going to come over and feed into the element set parameter by name. And we're going to change a number slider on the first one and change P1 and P2 uniformly, and then we're going to use a range to change them individually. So if I come in here and, and change this number slider right now to 40 and run it, you'll see it changes all of those to 40, right? Both of them. Now, if we wanted to have them change individually, we can come up here and use this sequence range division, which I think is from Lunchbox. Or if you don't have that, you can use this code block, which is what I'll use first. Um, this code block just does the same thing that the sequence range and division does. Um, the start, I just listed as zero, and then the end is going to be the X, and then the division is going to be the Y. And what we're going to do is we're going to count the elements that come out of our family type, right? And then that count is going to become the number and then this slider is going to control the um, top amount, the end. So if I run that, right, and I take a look, I'll have 25 that run from 0 to 88, right? And that's going to be our degrees. So, for example, if I feed this now into the value for the angle, right, and run it, you'll see all of those will update to that angle, right? So it's running this code block series through there. So now if I change this slider down to 52, it'll now run it from 0 to 52, right? Instead of, or change it all the way down to 22 and run it, and it'll just... Now you could do something as well, like if, let's say we change it up to, I don't know, 80, and then we reverse that list and plug that into one of the values. Now it'll twist those, right? So it'll twist it evenly from top to bottom as it goes across, right? So that's one way to get um, instance parameters to read through Dynamo, okay? When we come back, we'll look at this one down here, which pulls the um, the Instead of using a range, we use an image to pull the, the um, values from.